because I was a kid in the parade, so all I ever knew was sequins was the trim on the costumes. But what I always consider the different aspect compared to other parades across the country is the shiny metallics and mylar fabrics that are incorporated in the costumes. There's a sense of freeing the spirit when you're behind a mask. It's almost like you adopt another persona to free yourself from the mundane repetition of everyday life. The fabrics as they were at the beginning you had wool, cotton, but then it progressed into more exotic fabrics. Uh, an example would be uh, satin. That was a big breakthrough. So then when, when satin came in, then feathers. We got bags and bags and bags of all different multicolored types of feathers. You got rooster feathers and you got ostrich feathers that are cut down. And this is all, all dyed special and it's all sewed up special. At the get-go, the designer will try to push the creative envelope. Most of the times, it's kind of a group brainstorm where we all come up with some idea or some development of a singular theme. And then I take away and start to develop it on paper. We'll take that, tailor it, cut it, sew it, manufacture it, and make it wearable for the members. We have to work hand in hand and get the end result out. Winning first prize, it's winning that competition. Guys thrive on the competition. It's the bragging rights and it's just what you was born and raised into.